and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 5th of November 2019. And we have a number of very interesting news and an update from the old news. Yeah, first of all, we have Ochen Toschen and they are coming out with a new design. Um, yes, it's only the design, the liquid inside the bottle stays exactly the same. So Orontoshen is focusing on being a Glasgow distillery. So there will be a skyline of um, Glasgow and yeah, they just want to show that they're born and raised in Glasgow. Then we have news from Isla and the news is, as every week, there will be a new distillery. Um, the Isla Boys is an independent bottler and they also have uh, are uh, running the Isla Ales, a brewery on Isla. And they want to build a new distillery called the Lagan Bay Dis Brewery and Distillery. And um, they want to have 150,000 liters of pure alcohol per year. So they will be roughly start off uh, one and a half times of what Kilhoman started off with. And um, they are looking for investors. So they're looking for 500 investors that are investing 10,000 pounds. And for that, you will get a bottle, uh, not a bottle, uh, a cask of their whiskey. So we will be looking out for that and see if that manifests in the future. Um, Aberfeldy brings out a new bottling and it's going to be a Bordeaux finish. So it's going to be a wine cask finish, 15 years of age, 43% um, ABV. And it uh, was finished for four to five months in these red wine casks. And then we come to the story with the bottles here. We have news of Game of Thrones. Yeah, last week I told you about the rumors of the Mordlach and the rumors turn out to be true. There's no fake news here. So um, they bring out a ninth bottling, ninth single malt on the market uh, with the Mordlach. And on the 6th of November, they will, will come out with uh, deep details and yeah, uh, we'll have a look for that and they will also bring out a new collection of the old bottlings or they will renew that. So if you if you find these sold out at your dealers, maybe have a look again in December, maybe then the shelves will be full again. Then we have Hunter Lang brings out an old and rare heritage edition. So these will be 20 whiskies, single cask bottlings, from 30 to 46 years old. So yeah, old and rare and probably pretty expensive. They will all be in cask strength, all be without coloring and without chill filtration. And then if we look over to the United States, we have the Woodford Reserve Distillery. They will bring our new uh, master's collection uh, chocolate malted rye bottling. So it's a, uh, a very special um, rye, but it's not about the rye, but the process of malting. So when you dry the malt in the end of the malting process, then they do an extra heating and that kind of caramelizes the malt, makes it darker. And that's what you call a chocolate malt. And that's what they used in their mash bill. It will be 45% uh, 45.2% ABV and it will be a limited exclusive edition. And um, they actually released the mash bill and that's kind of curious. And it's 70% uh, corn, 15% malted uh, chocolate rye and 15% malted barley. And um, that is a bit strange because if you have 70% uh, corn and only 15% rye, usually you're not legally allowed to call it the rye. The FTA, Title V, Section 21 or something like that, uh, states that you have to have at least 51% rye in your uh, whiskey to call it a rye whiskey. Under these uh, circumstances, you're allowed to call it a bourbon usually. So, uh, but we got these um, news from yeah the distributors or the uh, producers. So usually they should be true. Let's let's have a look. We will give you an update in the future about that. 
Then we have the Buffalo Trace Distillery. They released a new vintage edition from 1994. It's called OFC 1994 Bourbon. It's 45% ABV and it will cost $2,500. And it will feature different, uh, very interesting things that happened in 1994. And last but not least, we have Michter's. They brought out a 20 year old berm on the market. Very nice, very old berm, at least 20 years old, uh, are very, very rare. And um, Michter's is releasing um, this as a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey with 57.1% ABV. And one bottle will cost about 700 US dollars. And that's normal for the market as there are so few old bourbons. Um, how they are available around the world is not known yet. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next week.